Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Shared Sentience and thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information for my Instagram and Twitter if you guys would like to follow me on this platform. So we're going to do a past, present, future spread today and an overall energy and see what's going on and then I will clarify it, okay? What's going on here? with Aquarius, past, present, future, overall energy, okay? And I will read these to you guys um, as I go over them. So we're looking at the past here. All right. Present. Ooh, okay, and future. So the overall energy is the Page of Swords. I do feel like something could be... Um, now, this doesn't necessarily have to mean that there's some kind of um, trickery or deceit going on um, or that somebody is spying on you, but I do feel like there is something being kept from you here. It could be by an air sign or, you know... Um, someone with a lot of air in their chart, this could simply be you learning something, all right? I do feel like you guys are seeing something here. Um, so many of you guys, this might involve a Cancer, okay? Showing up in the past, you have the Nine of Wands, Sag Energy. You have the High Priestess, Pisces. You have the Hermit, Virgo. You have the Chariot, Cancer, and the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, okay? So I do feel like something uh, comes to light here in the past, okay? With the High Priestess to the Hermit, I feel like something was unveiled here, and it... Um, yeah, it made you want to move in a different direction here. This could even just be you coming to the realization that, you know, you're not supposed to be in a certain place or that you need to wrap something up here. Um, this could be a job. It could be a connection. It could really be anything. But I feel like you guys um, didn't feel secure um, in, in whatever situation you were in in the past. It didn't feel secure, whatever that means to you. So maybe you were involved with someone who wouldn't commit or, you know, maybe you were at a job that just didn't, uh, you know, feel safe to you. Um, I don't know why I'm getting it like that, but something didn't feel safe and secure to you, so you had to move forward from it. What's going on here in the past with this energy? For others of you, I feel like you could have tried to rekindle something here, but there was just too much pain there, all right? I think for some of you guys, you had to just keep moving, okay? What's going on in the past here with this energy? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Um, because we have the hermit and the chariot showing up twice. All right. Um, and the hermit is clarifying the chariot. The chariot's clarifying the nine uh, or the knight of pentacles, excuse me. But clarifying this nine of wands, you have the world. Okay. So that's fixed energy. Like I said, I think for some of you guys, this is, this is about something that had closed out or something that you had outgrown. Yeah, um, that's how I'm feeling here. There was something that you outgrow, that you outgrew, <laughs> outgrowed. Um, so yeah, I feel like you guys had to move forward from a situation here. Um, clarifying the High Priestess is the Hierophant, all right? So I feel like there could be, um, this is something that played a significant role in your life or someone who played a significant role in your life. It could be a Taurus, all right? Um, but that's the same thing when the World card shows up. I mean, you've got literally all majors clarifying this here. Um, with those red infinity symbols on this wreath here like that is you know talking about something that changes the course of your path forever all right so it's no wonder that you're in this nine of wands energy when it comes to looking at that or dealing with it or dealing with anything new uh, because you put a lot of uh, work into whatever this was here okay um, you really identified with it in a lot of ways you really committed to it is how that feels here to me clarifying the hermit you have judgment okay um, so I feel like some kind of secret was revealed or something Something that someone wasn't very proud of came out is how I'm getting this here, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like some kind of something or another that had been hidden came to light in the past here. And you do have the chariot, clarifying the chariot is the hermit, all right? So I feel like you guys uh, end up moving to a situation where things are more clear, all right? Uh, for some of you guys, this situation is you, okay? This is uh, you kind of retreating and... Um, 
you know, learning to be more self-sufficient is how this feels to me. Uh, learning to rely on yourself, trust yourself, all right? Uh, because for some of you guys, whatever was being hidden, your gut kind of told you with that high priestess being there. Maybe that's something that you tried to move away from you didn't really listen to or trust with that nine of wands showing up. But I think that, you know, you guys moved into a space here where you are learning to trust it, okay? And I think that's what this Knight of Pentacles to the Chariot is about. I still feel like that's something you're um, still learning to do here, all right, is uh, learning to kind of uh, sit in that driver's seat there. Um, because for others of you, I feel like you have um, allowed external things to kind of, um, you know, like these sphinxes here. I feel like you guys have allowed things outside of you uh, to kind of steer the chariot here. And I think that, that, you know, with this energy showing up, you're saying no more. With that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are relying on your own truth to guide you, okay? So, showing up currently, you have the world. You have the Nine of Swords, okay? Uh, so, we've got Fixed Energy again. We have Gemini, okay? And then we have Cancer, Aries, and Virgo with this Two of Cups, uh, Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, we're going to look and see what this is about here. For some of you guys, I literally feel like, you know, Queen of Wands can be an energy of someone who chases. I feel like you guys could be chasing money, all right? I feel like you guys could be building an empire here, okay? Um... For others of you, I think that this is wrapping up some kind of connection because you do hit the Ten of Wands down here in the future position. You have the Nine up here in the past. So let's look at what's going on with this. I think with this Page of Swords being the overall energy, with that Queen of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you guys could be learning a really um, significant strategy and work or business. All right, what's going on here with this middle row? All right, so here in the beginning with the world and the nine of swords, uh, like I said, when, when you're at the nine, you're, you're trying to wrap something up here. Clarifying the ten of pentacles is the ten of swords. So something's got to go here. Something is ending, okay? Uh, with the world here and the five of wands, if you guys are competing in a job or... Uh, maybe if you're worried about competition and a connection or something, um, I feel like there's nothing to worry about here. I think that you're the person who has the attention, okay? With that page of swords, I feel like you're the person that eyes are on here in this situation. Uh, with the world card showing up again, I feel like, you know, you're the center of attention here when it comes to something, whether this is a connection or um, a job opportunity. I feel like you guys um, have the first seat here or are the first pick or something of that nature. But other than that, I feel like you guys are having to close something out here and it's causing you a lot of conflict with that five of wands, okay? Clarifying the nine of swords is the emperor. So the emperor can be a really head over heart kind of um, card kind of person, all right? That's Aries energy. So I feel like you guys, there's something here that you don't want to see about a person, all right, or about um, a situation. There's a truth here that you're waking up to in that bed there. Uh, but with his hands over his eyes, he doesn't really want to see it, okay? And I feel like it's because there could be a really strong connection here with the Two of Cups showing up. But I think you're being asked to look at it anyways. You're being asked to kind of um, ignore your feelings here for a person, or I should say for what you thought a person was, because that's what that feels like to me. All right, I think you guys are still attached to um, a false perception that you built of a person. And I think you're being asked to release that. Could have been an Aries. It doesn't have to be, okay? Uh, but I think you're being asked to release that and use your head here. Use your logic, okay? Clarifying this Two of Cups is the King of Wands. So I feel like you guys, if you guys um, own a business or anything like that, I feel like this could be hiring someone or saying to hire someone for some of you guys. Um, in order to hit this Ten of Pentacles, um, you're going to have to get some kind of help here, okay? That's something I feel like for some of you Aquarius, but for others of you, um, I feel like there could be someone here who's seeing you get in a different connection. Uh, weird message. Could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, but that's how I'm feeling with this King of Wands. He's kind of watching that Two of Cups. So I would just be aware of that because there could be someone kind of watching you move on here. All right? I feel like whoever you're moving on to, though, they're a perfect match for you. You've got the Queen and King of Wands out on the board here. Okay? Um, so... For others of you, I really feel like that's about grabbing some kind of deal or opp opportunity, okay? So that could still be a connection. Uh, for others of you, it could be a business deal or a negotiation or something of that nature here. Um, 
Queen of Wands, all right, uh, like I said, is showing out. But you do have the Four of Cups here uh, with the clarification, okay? So that's Cancer energy. So I feel like you guys are being asked to listen to something here. Uh, moon in Cancer is a very intuitive energy. So I feel like you guys could be being asked to um, listen to your intuition, really sit with what it's trying to tell you when it comes to taking action on something and choosing something. Because I feel like you guys could be getting some offers here that you're not really satisfied with, okay? Uh, but I think that you're being asked to go with your gut on these. Um, yeah, that's how I'm feeling there with that. Because I feel like this is a business decision for a lot of you guys. Um, but I feel like you're being asked to kind of sit with it because you could be, um, you could have the um, tendency to kind of act on impulse when it comes to these decisions specifically, okay? Uh, so clarifying this Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Swords. So uh, there's not room for something here. There's something that's taken up space. So I feel like in order for you guys to have this Ten of Pentacles, this security, this stability uh, that you're longing for here, um, I feel like you guys need to get rid of something that um, is uncertain about you. That's how that feels to me there. It's uncertain about you. Uh, so there's something here that... Um, hasn't really, that you haven't really claimed. It's something like that here. It's something with not claiming something. Uh, it's just kind of taking up space there. You're not sure if it's actually yours. Um, so yeah, I feel like you guys need to close that out with that 10 of swords. You move from the nine to the 10 here. So that's something that needs to be done uh, in order for you to have this 10 of pentacles here. All right. Uh, so that could be, you know, closing out a toxic kind of situation ship in order to have something serious, committal, and long term. Okay. And I think that's what you're doing with that Ten of Swords to the Seven of Swords. I think that you're moving away from things that, um, you know, don't give back to you. All right. Or things that um, are holding back from you. I think that you guys are moving out of that energy, moving out of, um, I feel like for some of you, you could have been repeating connections like this in the past where, um, you know, there's a lot of holding back or not a lot of um, equal give and take going on. So I think that you guys are closing that out here with the four of wands the strength card and the three of cups i think you're also being asked to be patient with a person here it could be a leo all right i'm getting a uh, taurus here as well don't know why no taurus card showing up but um some of you could have venus and aries as well with that uh, four of cups okay um but i do feel like there's a harvest here um strength card you're being asked to be patient okay so what's going on here with this with the remainder of the reading here Clarify each of these cards here. Ten of Wands, clarifying that's the Ten of Wands. Okay, we'll go over it in a second. All right. So the overall energy for the remainder of the reading is the Knight of Cups. Pisces energy, you guys could be uh, being asked to chase some kind of dream here. I feel like you guys are being asked to move on something to stop holding back, okay? Um, under that is the Eight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like you really just need to go for something here. Or if you're getting rid of something, I think that something's going to move in very quickly here. Whether this is a dream or a romantic partner, whatever this is, I feel like it is uh, moving quickly once you get rid of something, all right? And I feel like it's whatever this Ten of Wands energy is, something you've been carrying with you for quite some time. For a lot of you, it's something you've been repeating here, Aquarius. Um, clarifying this Seven of Swords is the uh, Four of Swords, okay? So the seven minus the four is the three of swords. So whatever you guys were in this um, heartbroken energy about here in the past, whatever was being held back from you, I feel like you're getting clarity on that finally, on past heartbreaks here. Um, so that's what I feel is happening there with that. That sword that he's resting on there, that is some kind of truth that you're coming um, into alignment with, okay? With that seven of swords, whatever you didn't know before, uh, you're about to know, okay? You're going to know now, okay? So... With this Four of Wands, we're getting the Knight of Pentacles. So again, there's a need to be patient. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. It's Virgo energy, but, you know, it's important to note that even though he's very slow moving, everything's going to be done right, okay? Everything's going to be done at the perfect time, exactly how it should be done. There is no rushing this, okay? With the Strength card to the Full card, I feel like you guys just need to have faith that things are going to work out when they're meant to work out, Okay. Or things are going to uh, hit the next level when they're meant to hit the next level. Because I feel like some of you guys could be running out of patience here, okay? When it comes to some kind of harvest or some kind of coming together um, that you're trying to have with a person here, okay? It could be a fire sign. doesn't have to be. But I think you want something to get off the ground quicker than it is. And it's important to note that those things are going to happen when they're meant to happen. Everything is working out perfectly right now, okay? It's going to come to you at the right time. Just trust that. Have some faith in the universe here. Aquarian energy, fire fire energy, okay? If you guys were curious about this, I didn't think I announced them, all right? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius. I hope this was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, and you all have a great week. Bye.